What's up? It's me, James from James's Jet Pilot. Today, I'm holding Olga, my crested gecko female. Um, this video, we're going to talk about neurological issues in reptiles and how I feel and how the community feels and what's actually going on. So, to start out, what I mean by neurological issues is if you look up any of the following animals, Enigma leopard geckos, spider ball pythons, and I believe it's jungle jag carpet pythons. They have these tendencies and the mutations look very cool. They change them up. A lot of people happen to like these mutations specifically, but the gecko, its head, the gecko, any, whatever animal it is, the head will sway and they'll go in circles. And I know with the snakes, they'll like go in loops and stuff. Now, I forget exactly who the doctor's name was, but if you go check out the podcast for Port City Pythons, um, I believe it's, it was like Dr. Mark something, and he talked about it in very good detail. It was extremely well put. The When you breed these animals and you get, say we're breeding leopard geckos and you get an enigma out, the severity varies on a scale, you know, from one to 10, whatever. And it might not have any, what they call head wobble. Um, for leopard geckos, it's more of like a sway, they call it stargazing, whatever. They may not have any, if some, very little, if not none at all. Or they might have it really bad. The animals that have it really bad tend to be physically weak, um, very poor eaters. As far as leopard geckos go, I'm not sure. I think, I think they say spider ball pythons are actually really good eaters, I'm not sure. Um, but I know they are not good eaters. And it's been proven scientifically, genetically, that if you take two animals that have low expression for this wobble and this stargaze, and you, you think, oh, if I breed two low expressions, they'll all come out low expression and I can keep the colors. It's not true. You breed two of two animals that don't have any, any stargaze or wobble, but they have that gene in them, your uh, babies from that pairing will all be on that scale from one to ten randomly. And if you take two with the worst stargazing, and you can even get them to breed at that point, and you and you breed them, same thing. They can come out with no wobble. There's just no saying. And I know they've banned uh, spider ball pythons from a lot of the shows in UK. I think all the shows in UK have banned them. Personally. I think people who have these animals should sell, 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 and you know, put the money back in somewhere else. It's, everything's going one way. They're not gonna have spider ball pythons at shows in America soon. They're not gonna allow enigma leopard geckos, in my opinion. It's, it's not right. I don't think it's right ethically to do it anyway. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm a gecko breeder, you know, I'm here trying to make money. I love my animals and everything. But at the end of the day, I'm trying to make money. It's, it's not worth it to do that when you know what the results are gonna be. It's like trying to breed two deformed geckos and you get deformed geckos, of course you're gonna get deformed geckos. Why would you not? Why would you do that when you can just breed other animals? It's not really uh, necessary in any way. And it'll probably get phased out. You know, People are gonna understand that it's not okay, it's not right. They're not gonna wanna buy them. And if they do want to buy them, it's just to give them a forever home. But us, what I see a lot is people who don't know, or people who are new to the hobby, are the ones that buy them. People who know anything about them at all, steer clear because they understand. If you breed spider ball pythons, I can guarantee you that 99% of the people you sell them to are people who have never had a snake before, and that's their first. Or they want to start breeding snakes, and they have a normal and they want something to pair it to that's going to produce uh, morphed animals to the next year. And you're going to have that one guy who just doesn't care and buys another spider. Anyway, she just bit me. Um, she's in shed right now. But people who understand what it is don't really want to buy them. And the reason that is, is it's just not right. It's just not fair to the animal. Um, at the end of the day, it's just another morph. I don't think it would be the end of the world if, if one was forgotten. Black Knight Leopard Geckos are known to be extremely jumpy because 
such a brand new thing that they're outcrossed with so many wild caughts and they have that instinct to jump everywhere. Um, bandits and Halloween masks are known to drop their tails. Lemon frost, leopard geckos are another example of a morph we should totally get rid of entirely. Lemon frost, uh, leopard geckos, it's co-dominant, have 100%. Uh, they all get tumors at some point and they have really bad sheds too. Another uh, blood super hypo tangerines have really bad sheds. They, they always lose their toes. Um, a male fat tails end up with sperm plugs constantly. It's just stuff like that that we want to filter out of the hobby so it stays nice, it stays ethical, and we don't have to worry about anything. So. At the end of the day, my opinion is we just kind of phase that stuff out. It doesn't have to be the end of the world, but if we can get rid of it slowly, it's better than keeping it in the hobby. My name is James from Gems and Sheptiles. This is Olga. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, jamesandsheptiles at gmail.com, and have a good one. Smash that like button. Smash that like button.